Right, so I'm Bradley Goldsmith, um, 23 years old, uh, and I'm boxing out of the, the world famous Ingle Gym. I'm fighting in two weeks, so this will be my final spar uh, today. Um, a, a lot of people do spar a bit closer up, but there's there's not much need for me to now. You know, I've done more than enough. Um, and in terms of the spar, yeah, it was good. I sparred a lad called Red Johnson. I believe his name was Johnson. Is his second name? Uh, my name's Red Johnson. I'm from Sheffield, 24. I box at the old boxing centre, which is at Manor Top in Sheffield. Uh, it's only five minutes from where I live. So yeah, just up the road. Yeah, I've come to spar uh, Bradley Goldsmith. I see, I've seen him box a couple of times in amateurs. We, we crossed paths in the amateurs, but we never actually boxed each other. I've heard about him, a good fighter. First time I've worked with him today. Uh, he's sharp. I think he's a couple of weeks out, two or three weeks out. He's sitting nice with his weight and things like that. He's looking sharp. Um, I'd be interested to see where he goes with, with the pro side. He's, he's a good little boxer. And I, I've been in with some good names and he's up there. So I'm from Coventry, uh, not so far down the M1. Um, I think it's about 90 odd mile. So it's um, so that's my hometown. That's where I trained um, my whole amateur career. Um, and then I went from there and then I made the transition to turn professional um, in this gym here. So I'll, I'll fight at middle, you know, middle stroke, super middle. Um, when it comes to, you know, championship level, I will do middle. Um, but for now, I'm probably just a bit heavier than that. Um, you know, still, Still learning the the, uh, the nutrition side of boxing and stuff like that as well. You know, um, always adding to my uh, arsenal. Um, I'm a southpaw for starters. You know, so I'm as there's like a saying in the boxing world. There's like 80% orthodox, 20% um, southpaw. So I'm you know I'm part of that 20%. Um, and then you know along being in this gym, you, uh, you you do learn the transition to switch a bit. It's not forced upon me. Um, but if I can add that that you know that little percentage to my game, um, and I can bring it out when I need to, um, then I can. Being in this gym's help helped me more than you know more than probably most will know. You know because I've I've, I've already become accustomed to the cameras. You, you know the, the the big nights. You know seeing how people at the, the top of the boxing game react or um, or act. Sorry. Um, you know, when they're coming up to big fights or stuff like that, or when the media's here, or, you know, if there's someone come to watch them spar and stuff like that. So um, Marvin Hagler was, was one who stood out for me, you know, Southpaw, fan, you know, fan-friendly style. Um, you know, you, you, see his, you see his logo, Destruction and Destroy. Um, that always stood out. Uh, conveniently enough, I did watch a lot of Cal Brook, um, you know, coming up, you know, because I found him exciting and stuff like that. So... Um, and I like to, to think. I like to think from from watching people who I wouldn't say you know so much as aspire to be you know because I'm my own person. But in 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 terms of watching people and watching their game, I, I will think I want a bit of that you know, or I think I can do a bit of that you know, and practice it and make makes me. Yeah, I, I mean the nerves are natural. I think in in every sport you know, um, especially boxing because. You, you know you're about to get punched in the head. As much as you're going to punch someone, you know you know you got something firing back to you. Um, and then in terms of a fight, it, it's a different feeling because although there's cameras and stuff here today, uh, when you're fighting, there's hundreds of hundreds of eyes on you. You, you know, so there's 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 more pressure. Um, but it's all how you you know it's all it all comes down to how you deal with that and um, and how you come out on the other side.